Good morning. My name is Kathy Hawken, and I am a member of the Good Shepherd Episcopal Morning and Evening Prayer Group. You uh, are joining us live on Zoom today, and we're happy to have you here. If you would like, or if you have know someone who would like to uh, look at this morning prayer service later in the day, simply go to goodshep.org, um, goodsheponline.org. Hit the worship drop down. In the worship drop down, there is a note for prayer. Click on prayer. And if you scroll down a, just a little bit, you will see a, a picture of a pew with prayer books in it. And that is uh, the, the live portion. Right underneath that, you can find the service for this day and download that as well. This service will be available after 10 o'clock on all of the Good Shepherd Media places, uh, Facebook, and of course, um, on the website for goodshep.org. So let us begin on this Thursday morning, February 24th, the Feast of St. Matthias. And uh, St. Matthias, was according to the act of the apostles chosen by the apostles to replace Judas Iscariot uh, following the latter's betrayal of Jesus and his subsequent death. His calling as an apostle is unique in that his appointment was not made personally by Jesus who had already ascended into heaven and is also made before the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the early church. Uh, it always is sort of a interesting Thing for me to see what their patronage is. And he was the patron saint of alcoholics, carpenters, tailors, Gary, Indiana, Great Falls and Billings, Montana, smallpox, hope, and perseverance. So today we celebrate St. Matthias uh, and we will say uh, our prayer to him during the colics. We give thanks to the Father who has made us worthy to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Let us begin with the confession of sins. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth the most worthy praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others, those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him. Let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Let us say together the Veniti. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are all the caverns of the earth, 
and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is gracious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Our psalm for today is Psalm 15, which we will say in unison. Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle? Who may abide upon your holy hill? Whoever leads a blameless life and does what is right, who speaks the truth from his heart, there is no guile upon his tongue. He does no evil to his friend. He does not heap contempt upon his neighbor. In his sight, the wicked is rejected, but he honors those who fear the Lord. He has sworn to do no wrong and does not take back his word. He does not give his money in hope of gain, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never be overthrown. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson today is from the from Acts verses chapter one, verses 15 through 26. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers. Together, the crowd numbered about 120 people and said, friends, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit through David foretold concerning Judas, who became a guide for those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered among us and was allotted his share into this ministry. Now this man acquired a field with, with the reward of his wickedness and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle and all his bowels gushed out. This became known to all the residents of Jerusalem so that the field was called in their language, Hak Hakeldama, that is field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his homestead become desolate and let there be no one to live in it, and let another take his position of overseer. So one of the men who have accompanied us throughout this time that the Lord of Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of, of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness with us to the res his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Bar. Barabbas, who was also known as Justice and Matthias. Then they prayed and said, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this ministry and the apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them and the lot fell on Matthias and he was added to the 11 apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A song of creation. Glory, glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Our second reading is from John chapter 15, verses 1 through 8. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. 
just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit. Because apart from me, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now let us profess our faith in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Oops. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean heart, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our colleagues for today begin with the colic for the Feast of St. Matthias, Apostle. O oh, Almighty God, who in the place of Judas chose your faithful servant Matthias to be num numbered among the 12, grant that your church, being delivered from false apostles, may also be, always be ordered and guided by faith and true pastors through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. A colic for the renewal of life. O God, the King eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace. That having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, Rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A colic for the mission of Good Shepherd. 
Loving God, you sent your only son, Jesus Christ, that we might have hope of eternal life and the Holy Spirit just to sustain us in our faith in you. Give us grace to be a beacon of faith, hope, and love in this community that we may radiate the transforming power of your love to everyone everywhere who live and reign together, one God forever and ever. Amen. Come on. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ in all denominations, but particularly those throughout the Anglican communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Mount Kenya West, the Right Reverend Joseph Kagunda Bishop. We also pray for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our companion diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of Toliar, Madagascar, and the Right Reverend Dr. Sabantini Janssen Raspindalalambo Bishop. A prayer for mission. Oh God, you have made of one blood all the people of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially. Bob and Pam, Judy, Ashley, Mindy, Dawn, Samara and Dash, Anthony, Olivia, Vincent, Peter, Eleanor, Joe, Sal and Colleen, Chris, Karen, Brooke and family, Marcia, Pat, Jim and Jerry, Debbie, Anna, Carrie, Carlos, Danielle, Jessica, Maggie, Don, Lydia, Arnie, Cheryl, and Tammy. We pray also today for our service ministries, remembering today especially Run for the Pies, the Good Shepherd may host an annual civic event in the Jupiter to Cuesta area while supporting our food pantry service to the hungry. And Green Spirits, the Good Shepherd provides occasions for enjoying our natural treasures while striving to safeguard the environment. A prayer for the parish. Almighty and ever living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. And I have a prayer to share. I was telling Ian Joan before we started that this is, came today uh, from a young priest friend of ours who's in Fargo. And as I was setting up, it also popped up that it is minus 14 in Fargo today. I am very thankful. I am in Jupiter, Florida. This prayer is for the Ukraine. God of peace and tranquility, whose will is for all God's people to live in harmony, stop the violence in the Ukraine, turn the hearts of the aggressors to peace, give diplomats wisdom to negotiate an end to the fighting, protect the innocent, shield the vulnerable, and stir up compassion and courage inside of each of us that we may do our part to end this conflict. All this we ask through Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Amen. So thank you two for being here. It would have been very lonesome all by myself. Let us, oh, we, oh, I, yes. Thank you for the reminder, Ian. We want to continue our prayers for Father Doug Shannon and their family as they um, wind their way through the search process. Uh, and certainly, uh, dear Lord, we ask that you, uh, you find the right place, wherever that may be. And we know you will. Let us say together the general thanksgiving. 
Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation and the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplish which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit that we may know Christ and make him known and through him at all times and in all places may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.